with me here? Amen. Oh Lord, have mercy. It doesn't mean we don't talk about him. Mm-hmm. It doesn't mean that we don't uh, let you know who he is. It doesn't, let you, uh, it doesn't mean that we don't reveal him. Right. It just means that you are not to grieve him. Right. That doesn't say you're not to do some stuff that's listed here, uh, right here in this book of Ephesians. It says, look, look, don't be bitter. That all bitterness and, and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you. That's, that's a few things. Amen. That, 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 that will, will, will cause the Holy Ghost to grieve if you're uh, bitter, if there's wrath and anger, Allah, if, you're, if there's evil speaking. All that needs to be put away from you. Lord have mercy. That has to do with uh, sanctifying yourself. Are you with me here? Oh, glory, hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Sanctifying yourself. Oh, glory, hallelujah. In other words, the Lord wants us to put some stuff off and put some stuff on. Early on in Ephesians, he talked about putting on stuff and putting put, putting off stuff. That stuff that's not like him. Right. Amen. Uh, a conscious effort to put those things off that are not like God. Okay. Are you with me? Uh, in other words, when the Lord, by His Spirit, reveals to you those things that you should not be doing or that you should not be involved in, you want to make a conscious effort to put it off. Are you with me? There could be a conscious effort to change your thinking. The Christian walk is a life of change. Are you with me? If any man be in Christ, yes, right. He's a new creature. Behold, old things pass away. All things have become new. Amen. New creature, change. Are you with me? Putting off, putting on. Putting off those things that are not like God and putting on the things that are like Christ. This is what walking in the Spirit is about, and that is the practical application of the Word of God. That is to say, you become a doer and not a hearer only. Walk in the Spirit. Lord have mercy. Y'all okay? We're we're to put on uh, uh, goodness, kindness, uh, meekness, tender, loving kindness. Uh, We're to put on stuff that's like Christ. Lord have mercy. We're to be conformed to the image of him who is our Christ. We're to walk like Jesus. We're to talk like Jesus. Jesus. Oh, oh, glory, hallelujah. We're to walk in the Spirit. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Now, it hasn't always been that way. Are you with me here? I did want to look at a few witnesses uh, from the Old Testament. Amen. To help me out with this, uh, looked at those folk back there. Uh, we had a couple uh, uh, patriarchs. Brother Jacob, he got some instruction from the Spirit, amen, by the Spirit, amen. He saw the heaven uh, open up and he saw the ladder. Lord have mercy. The Spirit of God was present. Are you with me here? Brother Isaiah talked about the Spirit of the Lord being upon him. Are you with me here? Oh, Lord have mercy. So we understand that uh, the Holy Ghost uh, is, uh, should I say, has been, uh, has always been, uh, is and shall be. The Holy Spirit is eternal. Are you with me? Is that okay? Look, has no beginning, has no ending. Is that all right? Glory to heaven. He's God. My Lord. Bless the name of Jesus. That's what we're talking about. We're talking about God. Are you are you with me here? In in the Old Testament, uh, he would come uh, upon men. Lord have mercy. They they didn't they didn't even have what we have. Oh Lord have mercy. Uh, the Holy Spirit would uh, come upon them. And of course, uh, one of our, 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 our favorite illustrations is um, over in the Book of Judges. We had uh, one of our illustrations over there, uh, and, and uh, it's uh, Judges the uh, 15th chapter, 14, 15 chapter or so. Uh, we have a little illustration over there in the Word of God. And, and, and it's Brother uh, Samson, amen. And uh, Brother Samson had occasion when uh, the Spirit came upon him. Is that all right? 
Oh Lord, have mercy. I just wanted you to uh, go back with me and let's see the miraculous power of the Holy Ghost in uh, patriarchal or uh, in the times of the Old Testament. Are you with me? Bless the name of Jesus. So here, here we are in this uh, uh, book of Judges around, uh, let's get on up, but we know we're around the 16th chapter there we have, uh, where we have uh, the, the Samson and his uh, encounter with girlfriend, and uh, he had, that's the name of Jesus, trouble, amen, with girlfriend, amen, and, and uh, uh, she uh, more or less um, uh, wanted him to uh, uh, tell her something, amen. Tell me, I pray thee, wherein is thy great strength life, and wherewith thou mightest be bound uh, to afflict thee. Now, 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 you know, I understand that, you know, love can blind a fella. <laughs> you know, you can't see real good all messed up in the head, amen, uh, doesn't understand, you know, can't really grasp up or down. Are you with me here? Bless the name of Jesus. So she had the man in that position, the 16th chapter of uh, Judges, amen, if you want to check a preacher out, amen, 16th chapter of Judges, around the 8th verse, this girl named Delilah, okay, bless the name of Jesus. Now she, she, um, uh, uh, came to Samson and, you know, he had, uh, you know, had his relationship going on with her. Uh, bless the name of Jesus. He was in love with this girl. Uh, is that all right? Is that safe to say? Amen. Bless the name of Jesus. And and uh, uh, she started talking to him. All right? Amen. Now, uh, she said, well, uh, look, I just need to know something. Amen. Now, I just want to know where your strength lies. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Bless the name of Jesus. Now, well, Samson was, uh, should I say, up on his game uh, enough so he didn't tell her right off. All right. Are you with me here? Right. Oh, Lord, have mercy. He, he was up on his game just a little bit that he wouldn't tell her right off. And, and as a matter of fact, he, he told her, he, he made up something for her, right? He, uh, he made up something. He told her, look, uh, get seven green uh, uh, whips that were never dry, and, and uh, then uh, I shall be weak and be as any other man. Bless the name of Jesus. All right. Now, of course, she had already made a pact with somebody else to deal with him. This is more or less, uh, she had made a pact with the enemy as it was. Are you with me, the Philistines? Amen. Amen. Uh, and and uh, she had this plan to uh, get rid of him. Kill, rob, and destroy. It doesn't sound like the devil. Bless the name of Jesus. Kill, rob, and destroy. Are you with me here? And, and uh, what she did was uh, she wanted to find out what it would take to uh, get rid of his power. Is that all right? Uh, uh, and, and she told him, uh, you know, look, if you love me, come on, tell me, sweetie. Bless the name of Jesus. Is that all right? Amen. Sound, 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 kind of familiar. I know some of you, brother, you heard it before. Amen. But don't act like that. Don't act like you haven't heard it before. Amen. But nonetheless, here she is. Here she is. And she says to Samson, look, tell me. And he came and he made up the story. And he told her, he said, look, uh, if you get these reads and you haven't been used, you tie me up, and I'm going to be like any other man. And then, of course, what she did was she tested him out. And she says, uh, the Philistines be upon you. Uh, and after she tied him up with the reeds that he told her about. All right, so he breaks loose. Amen. Isn't that what it's, uh, it's in the word? It's in the word. This is what happens. Are you with me? He breaks loose, he jumps up, and he's ready to deal with the Philistines. All right? Hurt him up pretty bad. All right? Bless the name of Jesus. Because he had special strength. Is that all right? Uh, he was a Nazarite as it was. He was set aside for the Lord. Certain things he couldn't do. Right. Certain things he shouldn't do. Yeah. Man, doesn't that sound familiar? That's the name of Jesus. He was a Nazarite unto God. Lord have mercy. He was committed unto God. 
as it was. He had made his confession. He made it known. Are you with me? Oh, Lord, have mercy. So he, he, here he is. Here he is. Um, and, and then uh, when the men came, he dealt with them real quick. Uh, and, and she said, Delilah, she came back at him again. But the same thing, behold. And she said, look, you, you mocked me. You done messed me up. Amen. You told me a lie. Uh, okay, now look at you. Why are you acting like that? Are you with me? Bless the name of Jesus. She turned that thing around on that man. Amen. You talking about recall. Lord have mercy. Are you with me? And she just turned around. around. You messing with me. <laughs> you messing with me. Are you with me? Lord have mercy. And uh, you lying. You lying to me. And it's all about you. You not doing the right thing. Are you with me? Oh, yes. oh Lord have mercy. It's your fault. And, and so the man, he, he all messed up. You know he all messed up. Because here he go again. He comes up, he gets another. You need some white cords. Amen. You get them and you take them. You bound me. And I'm going to be like any other man. Because she tried that. And she said, the Philistines, the Philistines be upon thee, Samson. And, and there were, uh, uh, he was bound. And they were abiding right out there in the chamber. And he break them from off him. And his arms, they were like threads. Mm. Are you with me? All right. Now, of course, it looked like, you know, you've been, it's, it's, it's one, it's two, uh, bless the name of Jesus. Uh, I don't know what, I don't know, he might have known somebody, I don't know what it was, or maybe a baseball player or something, but nonetheless, here you go again. She uh, fooling him again and telling him, look at here, uh, you, you're messing with me, you didn't tell me, and she went through that three times, is that all right? And after she went through it three times, uh, she finally uh, convinced the man to tell him where his strength lies. Look, all you, all you need to do is just uh, shave the hair off my head. You know? she, she gave him the innermost secrets of his heart. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Are you with me? Amen. So here the man is uh, waking up, and of course she uh, clipped him up. Y'all all right? Bless the name of Jesus. Uh, she clipped the man up, and the Philistines came, and they took him. Are you with me? Took him away, uh, did a little stuff to him, uh, took his eyes from him, took his sight away from him. Bless the name of Jesus. Are y'all okay? And, and uh, a little bit later on, after a while, when his hair grew back, you know, it, it, it happened to, you know, it, the, should I say this, that what God has for you is for you and his purpose was going to be fulfilled regardless of what happened oh bless the name of Jesus your purpose will be fulfilled regardless of what happens you can't even stop it Lord have mercy with your hard headed and stiff necked self oh bless the name of Jesus God gonna work it out in you all things are working together for your good Nonetheless, that the purpose of God might be fulfilled. Right. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. So, so here he is. Uh, hair has uh, come back on his head. In verse 22, it says, How be the hair of his head began to grow again and after he was shaven. And, and it looks like he got a hold of somebody, a young lad, got him to take him over to the pillars. And Samson called them to the Lord, it says in verse 28. And he said, O oh Lord God, remember me, I pray thee, and strengthen me, I pray thee, only this once, O oh God, that I may be at once avenged of the Philistines for my two eyes. Are you with me here? Right. Uh, this Nazarite uh, came to himself, and he began to talk to God. Yeah. Are you with me here? Yeah. Sometimes we have to get kicked down, stomped around, kicked and be on just a little while before we come to the place that we recognize that we need God and his power. Yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Because the Holy Ghost came upon him again. Right. If you look through that chapter, you're going to see where the Holy Ghost came up. If you're going to look at those four, from 14 to 16, you're going to see where the Holy Ghost came upon Brother Samson. He came upon Brother Samson when he needed the strength. Are you with me here? The Holy Ghost came upon him. 
but the Holy Ghost did not indwell him. As a matter of fact, the Holy Ghost left him when he messed up.